good morning students i'm your english teacher and today we are going to see chapter number 16 determiners determiner a and n so what is determiner c a determiner a determiner is a word that shows the type of reference regarding the noun used after it okay we use determiners before noun okay so what which type of noun is there before that which type of determiner we should use that we will learn today okay the word determiner means a word that determines something nouns are naming words each noun names a person place or thing etc nouns are linked to the other words with various types of reference these reference are of different types a reference may be a reference may be okay so there the word what is the uh, meaning of the word determiner that determines something okay that says something so nouns are naming words we know in the same way each noun names a person place or thing etc we know the definition of noun so likewise these are being categorized into different types okay so what is the first one here you can see the first type is definite type second is indefinite third is general fourth is possessive fifth is demonstrative sixth is numerical and seventh is quantitative okay we will learn these types one by one see here some words are used in english to indicate the type of reference made by different nouns these nouns are these words are called determiners okay so to indicate something they are uh, that uh, this words to indicate something determiners are used okay so we'll see the first one what is the first one a pen means any pen so that is indefinite reference means you don't know uh, which pen it is what pen it is so a pen okay that can be any pen the second one is the pen a pen stated earlier okay that is definite we know that that pen is that pen is already there that we stated about the thing the pen which we stated earlier that pen is the now then the third one every pen that means all pen we are talking about all pens so it is in general reference my pen my pen belongs pen that belongs to me that is possessive reference then this pen a pen pointed to that is demonstrative one pen one pen only one pen that is numerical that means we know the number of it one pen then some sugar a little quantity of sugar that is quantitative reference okay so here are these things then if these examples a the every my this one some are all determiners because they show the kinds of reference regarding the nouns that follow them these determiners a the every my this one some these all are determiners because it tells us the uh, no uh, what it tells us the kind of reference that noun shows okay so now we'll see determiners a and n first of all <coughs> we know that a e i o u are five vowels and the remaining 21 letters of the alphabet are consonants both a and n have the same meaning but they are used with nouns that start with different types of sounds okay both 
we all know a e i o u are five vowels and 21 consonants are there in english alphabet so both a and an have the same meaning they have the same meaning but they are used with different types of noun we'll see the use of a first of all so here we see singular countable nouns that start with a consonant sound has a used before them so whenever when we use a in front of noun at that time the noun should start with consonant sound okay like for example a pen p is consonant so we use a a doll so d is a consonant so we used a a pot p is a consonant so we used a and a jeep so again j is a consonant so we are using a before jeep note the words uniform unit urinal these words do not start with consonant so they start with vowels still we use a before them because the letter u is the beginning of each of these words sounds as a consonant y okay it does not give a vowel sound so why we use a in front of uniform or unit or urinal because it the sound of the first word u sounds like y so we do not use an in front of uniform unit or urinal now where we use an see here singular countable nouns starting with any vowel sound have an used before them okay so single countable means when we talk about a single thing in front of that we use an for example an egg an eye an orange an ant ant so now note the word our and abbreviation s m f o h m all of them start with consonants so when the word our and abbreviations s m f o h m these are the abbreviations so all of them start with consonants not with vowels still we use an before them because these consonants give a vowel sound okay like an our so our is uh, the sound of our is o okay s m so the sound is s it starts with a vowel sound and f o also and h m also so it starts with a vowel sound now but when the abbreviation s m f o h m are written as full words we use a before them because the first letter sounds as consonants as a station master a forest officer a headmaster a head mistress so a and are called indefinite determiners understood when abbreviations are used we use an but when these abbreviations are written in full we use a in front of them thank you